Welcome to the week two exercise. The figure is a vital part of this course and the ability to draw basic humanoid shapes will be greatly beneficial to your grade in this course and throughout the program. We're going to be continually developing your skills in this area as storyboarding being the second half of the course is very figure and composition centric. This exercise is linked to information provided in the week two figure lecture so I encourage you to watch this prior to engaging with this exercise. Mannequinization is the process of articulating the human form as a mannequin, akin to those that you'd see in a shop window, back when shops were a thing. For this exercise, you'll be using two photographs of humanoid figures as your reference guide. On screen, you can see an example of shapes utilized to construct mannequinizations of the human form. When engaging with this exercise, remember to be mindful of the direction of the body part. An arm leaning slightly forward will see more of the top of a cylinder to represent its perspective and depth. I encourage you all to take some time drawing cylinders at different angles to get comfortable with this aspect of the process. If in doubt, pull a can of Heinz beans from the cupboard and draw it like one of your French girls for reference. Like this. Note that you'll be utilizing cylinders drawn to represent each solid area of the body, such as major bones or the rib cage. Areas where the body pivots, including the neck, shoulders, elbow, wrists, waist, pelvis, knee and ankle will be articulated as spheres. I provided an example of the photo reference sheet you should gather on the Blackboard forums for exercises. Students are required to find photos of a person facing forward and a person who is dynamically posed and merge them into one image in Photoshop. You should label this layer reference image. A new layer called rough sketch can also be created where you can draw your rough shapes and forms. This layer should be used for figuring out the placement of your shapes and here you can draw and erase hairy lines to your heart's content. An additional layer called final line should be created. This one will see you draw more solid, well-placed lines based on the rough sketch layout. When your work is done, you will save and submit a JPEG image that shows the photo reference layer at 50% opacity with your final line layer displayed on top. This exercise is expected to last between 30 minutes and one hour. Please ensure that you engage with this exercise in order to reap the maximum benefits of this approach. If you have any questions, please ask on the Discord Virtual Classroom. When this task is complete, students should proceed to the Blackboard forum, then to exercises, and create a wiki post there with their name. You will post your Week 2 mannequinization exercise within this post, including an image of your work. If you're in need of a refresher on Photoshop utilization or a workshop on this process of mannequinization, then you're in luck. I'll be going through this process via Zoom today, technology willing. Happy sketching, team.